How's it going everyone and welcome back to our next episode on how to program JavaScript. Now in this episode we're going to talk about something called a string operator and this is something I purposely didn't talk about in the previous episode since it's a little bit different than using mathematical operations and that sort of thing. So when it comes to something called a string operator we use it quite often inside JavaScript when we have some kind of string that needs to be combined with other types of data. So as you can see an example of here I have two variables I have one called age which is equal to 27 and I have a variable called info that is equal to a string that says my name is Daniel I am 27 years old so what I want to do here is I want to replace 27 with a variable because later on I might change this to 28 if I turn 28 at some point I, hopefully I do <laughs> um, but I would like to uh, replace 27 inside the string with age since we can update age at one point and then update my age inside the string. So what we can do is if I want to combine a variable with a string, for example, we can use something called a string operator. So if we were to go inside variable info and delete 27 and instead I'm going to go ahead and close off the string and open it back up again. So you can see we get these double quotes inside the string. Now if I were to include something in between here you can see it's not green because it's not part of the string. So what we can do is we can go ahead and tell the JavaScript code that I want to add in some other kind of data. It can be a number, it can be a variable, it can be anything that is going to return some other kind of value. So what I can do is I can say that we want to add something in between here by saying plus plus and in between the pluses, I'm going to add, for example, the variable. So I'm going to say we have age. Now, don't see the pluses as we're adding something because we're not adding like in, in math. Uh, we're just saying that we want to attach some other kind of value or some other kind of data to the string inside of it. We can also do it at the end of the string if we want to. So I could say afterwards that I want to add another kind of data that would be equal to uh, I don't know, 10. If I just want to do that, we can do that as well. And I, I want to point one thing out, which is the fact that right now, this would actually say, my name is Daniel. I am 27 years old. And it's not going to have a space in between old and 10. If it were to actually console log this, say console.log, and actually try this out inside the browser. So we're going to console log info. So inside my browser, you can actually see that if we were to actually look at this inside the console, uh, it says, my name is Daniel, I'm 27 years old, and old and 10 is inside one word. So one thing you need to be aware of when we do this sort of thing is that we need to go inside the string right before we add 10 to uh, the text and add a space. So we can do that. So we go to, we're to go back inside the browser, you can see now it says 10 after old, so it's not one word. Now, there's another thing I want to point out, which is often we use variables or string operators uh, just to add space in between certain uh, things. So if we were to say we have a variable called numbers and it's equal to four and five, then in order to get a space in between the numbers, we can't just say we want a space like I just did here. We do need to add a string to it and then say space inside the string in this sort of way. So if we were to save this and console lock this instead, or also console lock this inside the browser, there we go. Then you can see we get four space five. But if we were to go back inside the code, and just go ahead and do it this way, it's not going to work. So as you can see, we get a uncaught syntax error because it's not uh, the way it's supposed to create space inside a string. So just going to go back here. So this is what we call a string operator and something we use quite often inside JavaScript in order to create all sorts of combinations with strings inside a website. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.